What do you think, Mr Doyle? Well, what do you think you're doing? Well, put my hat on. And for? It's the first time in a week. It's my new sun hat. The sun is out and we've arrived at our park up which is on the banks of Lake Garda and the weather is absolutely stunning after what we've had. So we're at Stelplets, um, 27 euros, like about 25 pound but there's showers, electric, toilets, all your normal amenities and you can't get better than the setting we're in which we'll show you in a little while. But first, I'm going to sunbathe for a bit, relax, have a cup of tea, chill out, aren't we, Mr Doyle? We are. And let me just tell you, Mr Doyle's got his sunnies on as well. Yay! <laughs> so just a quick whiz around here, the stale plats. People enjoying the sun. We parked up just by a little tree there which gives us the option of a little bit of shade if need be. It's about 25 degrees today, so we're gonna have a nice cup of tea and a biscuit. We then pop down to the town for a quick walk and watch the sunset over Lake Garda, which was beautiful. Good morning. Good morning. We're walking down to Lake Garda. And we're going to this here and see if we can get onto a boat trip. Hopefully we'll be able to. It's quite warm, isn't it? It's very, very overcast, humid today, so it's very warm with it. Very humid, but uh, it's nice. It's not raining at the moment. No, which is good. So we were going to do the boat trip, but we've got down to Lake Garden. It's very choppy, and the boat is in a small boat like that. And you know me, guys. <laughs> After our um... the seasickness kicked in, just looking at this one bobbing up and down. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to wait to maybe a calmer day to do that. So we thought we'll head up towards the, um, is it the castle or a fortress? To have a look around the fortress, which is through the main castle gates. And um, yeah. so, yeah, we're going to explore the, that way. the town in daylight. See you later, guys. See you, guys. So, so we didn't get far. Well, yes. we decided to get the Dotto train. It's like home from home, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And this is, uh, goes round a city tour, 15, 20 minutes on the little choo choo train. So I thought, what Five better? euros each. Sorted. Nice one. Yeah. So that's see, what we're about to do. See where we go. So on the Mickey Mouse Express. <laughs> Very loud here. So you the Mickey Mouse Express is uh, just leaving, so we'll see what's going on and where we're going. So, uh, behind is Lake Garda. I assume we're going to run along parallel with that. Uh, although it says it's a city tour, so God alone knows where we'll be. But we shall see. Very, very loud on here. You're probably going to hear me. Well, that was an interesting trip around town. We managed to get our bearings, and that's there's the culprit, the Dotto train. So after our little train ride, we took a little wander down the town together in daylight. 
back to the old town. So we're back to the old town where we were last night. Lots of tourists here today. But it is a Saturday, isn't it? So um they've all come out. Ooh. Lots of ice cream parlours again. Ice cream parlours and tech shops. <laughs> as Mr D as Mr D says, ice cream top what is it? Ice cream parlours and tech shops. <laughs> And it's Fritz's shoe shops. This is a lovely open space with restaurants around, beautiful buildings with the flowers. By the old bridge, the river came right up so you could walk right up to the edge. And Mr. D and I were looking for fish. However, all we spotted was the ducks. Look at these beautiful ducks. And a yappy dog in the background. Come to look at the town and Mr. D likes the ducks instead. Look at the little babies little over ducks. there. These are very brave baby ducks. They are just literally in front of me and there is mum keeping an eye on them this is the church of saint martino and of course we had to pop in and have a quick look around it was very beautiful now the parish church of saint martina is located in the heart of the city and is one of the oldest churches in the diocese of verona Parchments were found dating back to December 10008. We were making our way to the fortress and en route we passed a viewpoint overlooking the river. The colours were certainly very blue. Oh, jolly green giant must have made these steps. <laughs> so the fortress is part of the Venetian defence system that surrounds the town of Bashira and it's been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2017. It played a prominent part in the Italian campaigns of the French Revolutionary Wars and the Napoleonic Wars. <laughs> We've just headed to a bistro cocktail bar because there's a massive thunderstorm on its way, isn't it? Big, big thunderstorm, yes. Yeah. So we're going to hold up here for a bit. What have we got, Mr. D? We've got beer and tapas, is that right? And you've got prawns, haven't you? I've got prawns, yeah. Prawns and hummus and prawns. I have hummus with vegetables. They even have a tree. So this is why we took refuge in the nearest bar. You just don't know what the weather's going to do here. After lunch, we left the restaurant by the back exit, which leads you to a corridor which was covered, which was handy for us as it was still raining. We've just found this little alley. It's called the Flower and Drink Restaurant. What a beautiful... Italian restaurant. Well, we had no choice but to come out and brave the weather, but it's easing off now and there's clear skies coming, but that was one big heavy shower. That's looking a lot better now. I'm glad we had such a lovely day in Bashira de Garda as later on that evening 
Mr. D received the sad news and he needed to return to Ireland immediately. So the following morning, we headed across town to the train station so he could catch a train to Milan. And there is Mr. D. He's got five minutes till his train comes. Sean went to catch his flight. I had no choice but to stay with the van for safety reasons. A train was leaving for Verona on the opposite platform, so I hopped on it. It took me to a central plaza in Verona where I asked a policeman the way. So this is the Colosseum behind and unfortunately it's a Monday and everything is closed here on a Monday. All the museums and the Colosseum. But never mind, it's still beautiful to look at. I only had a couple of hours in Friona, so I headed straight to the Tourist Information Centre. A lovely lady in there gave me a map of the city and directed me in which way was the best to see the main site, so off I went. My first stop was to the Old Bridge. I then spent the time wandering around the city and marring the sights. What I didn't realise about Verona is that the story of Romeo and Juliet was set in the city of Verona. Now whether Romeo and Juliet were real people, the families there relived the classic love story as he walked Verona. Now the house of Juliet is a must see. It's compulsory you touch Juliet's statue's boob, so that's what I did. And here's me underneath the balcony. There's also meant to be a tomb, but these guys are fictional, or are they? What do you think? So, Mr. D, I have just written you a postcard and posted it in this box. I'm standing in Juliet's courtyard. Hopefully you'll get this. this is the one this is one of the main shopping streets in Verona I've had a lovely afternoon wandering around it is very warm though so I'm heading back to the train station to catch the train back to the campsite as if I can remember the way so. I did make it back to the square and eventually to the train station better place to put the sticker thanks for watching folks catch you next time